<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today it's not like a tutorial per se. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I prep for my food cakes every year. So every year I have this food cake I make like a Christmas food cake. It is yummy and decadent and perfect. I don't know. <laughs> But a lot of people look forward to my food cakes every year, so okay, so guys, but before we go ahead, I need you to click on the subscribe button down below, right beside you, there is a bell. Click on the bell as well so that every time I post a new video, you get it first or you get a notification so you can go watch it. That way you don't miss out on any. This year I'm gonna be showing you guys how I prep for it. And if you are in Ukraine and you don't plan to order any of those food cakes whether for your friends, for yourself, for your girlfriend, or for your family members, or even your village people. I'm giving you this space. Okay, so it's going to be courier delivery. It's going to be delivered right to your doorstep. So it's going to be convenient and yummy. So you can have it with a cup of tea or just, you know, I don't know, <laughs> have a boozy Christmas. So... I'm going to show you guys how I prep for that and the kind of fruits I use, how I macerate the fruits and basically how, you know, because I like to do it a few weeks in advance so we can really soak in the alcohol, you know. <laughs> I play too much. Okay, I'm supposed to be a reindeer. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you. So just let's get started. So guys, I buy my um, fruit from my shan, usually, most year I buy my fruit from my shan. So I'm going to show you where not to buy from, except you have a million dollars. So do not buy these packaged ones, they are usually very expensive or they are organic. So, and do not buy these ones that are already in like a pack by the corner. I swear to God, I've been there all year round. <laughs> and trust me, I know what I'm saying. So buy these ones that were just like, they were recently laid out. And if you touch them, you realize they're not so dry. And they're still, they're supposed to be dried fruit, but they're still like, um, they still have some juice in them or like, they're still gummy and they look like chewy candy. Yeah, they kind of look like and feel like um, those gummy candies. If you like those, you understand what I'm talking about. So do not buy those like those ones that are, like stale and have been there for so long. So buy this fresh dried fruit. <laughs> Guys, I ended up buying some ginger, some um, English beers, um, some apricots and um, kiwis and green pomelos, some golden raisins, as well as some um, candied um, pineapples, those colorful ones, and then pumpkin and sunflower seeds, as well as walnuts, then red and green maraschino cherries and then walnuts and pumpkin seeds <laughs> okay and then of course the booze you have to buy the good quality ones so right now i'm sharpening my knife <laughs> okay guys so the trick here is to cut them like as small as possible but do not cut them too tiny because you still want them to be quite chunky because you want your clients to be able to chew the fruit and like recognize what they're chewing while they're chewing it you get plus when you soak them in alcohol like it dries up because the fruit absorbs the alcohol over time so you're still going to be topping up the bowl with extra alcohol as it dries over the months because you're going to soak this beautiful things for about four weeks Okay, I have like three days and six, three weeks and six days to Christmas. So we're going to be soaking it for about four weeks approximately. So, and they're going to get really chunky and big because they will soak up the alcohol. And then when it dries up, we'll add more to it. So the trick is not to cut them too tiny, but you know, chunky enough to be able to chew. So we're going to pour some nuts into here. Usually when I pour nuts, they sink to the bottom. And I don't pour everything because I'm going to use just half of the nuts. I'm going to soak half of them and I'm going to use half of them for topping the cake when we're done baking because if you pour everything it sinks to the bottom so what I like to do is leave some for like garnishes and stuff on top of the cake once they are done okay so what I like to do is to pour the juice of the cherries inside do you understand and make sure to replace the juice with some water because you don't want your cherries to become like name it for like you don't want them to be skinny <laughs> nobody likes skinny cherries the point is don't make sure they're not dry in the jar even though you already poured out the juice 
So stay together because the juice will give you more flavor as well, not just the booze. So now we're going to pour the booze. So the trick is usually I think I use about four of these bottles, but at this beginning we need just two because within three, four, five, six days, like within like a week, you realize the um the fruits already soaked up all the juice. So like buy another bottle and pour in and then cover again. Within like maybe two weeks or ten days, buy another bottle and pour. So at the end of the day, like your fruit is really boozy. Last year I, I think I ate like one pack within six hours <laughs> and i was telling my boyfriend what my name and surname was that was how boozy it was <laughs> if you don't eat it all at once of course you can't get you know tipsy <laughs> thank you guys and i hope to see you in my next tutorial i love you bye